Hi, I'm David with Rapid Materials. Today we're going to show you how to put a pipe flashing on a vent pipe in a roof. So the things we need to do this today are going to be pipe boots, and we'll talk about what size to use here in a minute, uh, a pair of snips or scissors or a, a razor knife to cut the pipe to fit. We're going to need screws, uh, EPDM washer head screws are perfect for this application, a caulking gun with a urethane roofing sealant, a screw gun with a nut driver, and of course a tape measure to measure our pipe. So the first thing we want to do is determine what size pipe flashing we're going to use. Um, this particular pipe we're measuring outside to outside is three and a half inches. So you have a couple of options. Uh, this is number two. This one only goes to three inches, so probably not going to be big enough. Uh, number three pipe, it will go up to five inches, which is a pretty good fit range. And of course you can go to a number four pipe, which is going to be incrementally larger and will fit a, a, a bigger range. But you really want a boot that's uh, not over sized for the roof, but big enough that it allows some expansion and contraction. The other thing you want to say is it's got a nice aluminum base flashing, which is flexible, so you can mold it over things. If we have a roof that has uh, uh, variations, corrugations in it, this will mold to it very nicely. Now we're going to cut this sucker. And I said you can use a razor knife, you can use scissors. Uh, you just want a clean, consistent cut going all the way around the boot and use the molded in lines as a guideline. Just like that. So next we're going to fit the boot over the pipe. A little trick of the trade is a little bit of soapy water. You can see that, but we're going to put a little soapy water on the inside of the boot. And that helps it slide over nice and easy. And we just push it down until it's flat on the roof duck. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to just mark a line using a, a Sharpie or any kind of marker. Don't use a pencil. A pencil will cause corrosion problems down the line. But we're going to just mark around this to show the location of our boot. And then we're going to ease this thing back up. And one thing you want to do is try not to put too much sideways pressure on your vent pipe because you can cause damage internally if you do. Okay, next we're going to run a bead of caulking just inside our line all the way around. Make sure there's no gaps, and you don't need a huge amount of caulking. You just want enough to bed this. Now when we press this back down in, you'll notice you see the grooves. The grooves will help bed that caulking in place. So we just push it back down, bed it, and now we're ready to fasten it down. So rule of thumb with screws is the screws need to be approximately an inch apart all the way around the perimeter. And I don't know if you can see this screw. This is just simply a hex driver with a rubber washer or EPDM washer to help seal the part. So we're going to start right down here, about in the middle of the flange. That's just a hair snugger than I really want it, but we're not going to loosen it up. like that. Don't worry about the caulking squeezing out. We're going to do something about that here in a minute to make it pretty. You do want to use a screw that's appropriate for the substrate underneath the panel. So we're on top of a wood deck here. So we're using a screw that's got a sharp point. This is actually called an AB point, which is designed for running into wood. The screws don't have to be perfectly an inch on center, but something close to that works best. And if you have any places where it seems like it's bubbling up, that hurt to go in and give it a little push, just to make sure that it's bedded really well. Make sure the sealant's contacting everything on the side. That's looking pretty good. Now if you want to finish it and dress it up, you can take some of that little soapy water that you got left over and just tool this around the edge. Uh, a lot of people like to use a good old-fashioned saliva, which does work, but it don't taste good. Just cleaning that up, make it look pretty. 
Of course, it is on your roof, so it doesn't have to be that pretty. But that is it. That's all there is to doing that. Thanks for watching our video today. For more great videos, visit us at youtube.com or at rapidmaterials.com.